Hello everybody, welcome to my studio. My name is Lana and I hope you're ready to paint something incredibly fun, springy, bright, just lots of fun. Uh, we're going to be painting on this video this spring little flag here and uh, I did get this at Hobby Lobby and I will show you the ticket and everything as the video begins. Um, I did want to point out I'm using some of the new DecoArt Americana colors on this project. Uh, I used six of the eight colors that are here on this project so um, uh, I think it just turned out beautiful. Love the colors, the vibrancy, and everything about this project. So I think uh, you're going to enjoy painting this, and certainly you can paint it on any surface that you want. So if you are ready, we're going to grab all our paints and all our supplies and get painting. But just a quick reminder that if you have not yet purchased this set, I will put a link in the description below where you can go and purchase this new set of paints and get 20% off uh, with a coupon code that I have. As long as you haven't used it yet, it's good till the end of June and you'll get 20% off your total order. So uh, let's get painting everybody. All right, we're going to get ready to start this design. I'm not 100% sure what colors I'm going to be using yet, but I do have some new colors that I want to try on this project. So this is a canvas flag from Hobby Lobby. It was $1.99. Actually, when I think when I bought it, it was 50% off of that. Um, it's already got the dowel rod up here, so you can just hang it uh, on your front door, wherever you're going to hang it. And this is my design I put on here. So <clears throat> the first thing I would like to do is cover all of my elements with some fabric medium. So I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to dampen it, but I'm going to get pretty much all the moisture. I, I want to wake those bristles up so that they release the the medium or the paint or what I'm going to use, but I don't want my bristles to be overly um, damp. And just any brush will do. So I'm going to start up here and just work my way down. This is a pretty thin uh, little canvas flag. I've got it taped to a piece of cardboard that has Glad Press and Seal on it. Down here I couldn't really tape it down. I did put some double stick tape back here, but it doesn't want to hold it very well because the fabric's a little bit thicker on the edge. <clears throat> but I think it's going to hold it well enough for me to um, get this painted. Now this, because this fabric is pretty thin, the paint is going to go through this fabric. So that's why you want to make sure that um, you have something covering your cardboard or whatever is behind but you do need that firm surface in order to paint on your fabric so I'm going to apply a coat of fabric medium this is deco art fabric medium to each petal and leaf on my little flag here and then we're going to start painting it in. And I still am not 100% sure what colors I'm going to be using here, but um, we will get it worked out. I've got some new colors I haven't tried. I don't even know how pigmented they are going to be, so we'll see. All right, so I think I'll just go off camera and finish getting the fabric medium onto my um, little canvas flag here and you could put this on a bag just use the flowers you could um, you know put it on something else that you want to put it on you could say welcome instead of spring whatever you want it to say um, I'm just using a 3 8 inch angle brush and painting all of my medium on here staying inside my lines I don't want to get outside my lines here so I'm making sure that I'm just painting inside those lines. All right, so I am going to get this on here and I shall be right back. 
Okay, let's start adding some paint here. Now, one of the most important things I can tell you when you're painting on fabric is to always check your hands before you touch your fabric. Make sure you have no paint on your hands, somewhere on your brush where it could accidentally get on there. Keeping your hands and your paintbrushes clean or whatever you're using clean and away from your fabric as you paint is going to help a lot. So I decided to try and put this up on my easel. I don't know how well it's going to stay with the slick back here, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so um, I'm going to be trying a new color. Um, this is New Leaf, a brand new color from Decor, and I want to paint my leaves in with this because this is a spring painting, and I want it to be bright and cheery. I'm going to put some white out to see if I want to even make that lighter with some white. I don't know, that might be too light. We'll just stick with the straight green. We'll come and add our highlights on here. Go around your, your petals on your flowers. Now putting that fabric medium down is going to help this paint to go on so much smoother. Make it a more of a stress-free painting. Got one, two, three, four, five leaves down here. Oh, I've got a second leaf up here. Let me paint that in real quick. I can barely see it because I drew it in with my pencil. And I can't see the lines. Super great. And you can paint this on any surface that you have. Um, I just thought this was a fun little canvas panel from Hobby Lobby and thought it would be a lot of fun to do. I'm excited to try out some new colors and see how well I'm going to like them. I mean, I know I'm going to like them, but see if they become my new favorites. Looking pretty already. Bright, bright colors. Now, a lot of times when you're painting on fabric, I tell you to use your good brushes, but not your best brushes. Because um, fabric can be a little bit hard, but this fabric here is um, not too bad. So you get by with whatever brushes that you like to use. Now over here it may look a little bit different because we're going over that edge there, uh, which is folded, so it, it might create a little bit of a different texture as we paint here. We will just see about that. Okay, where else do I have? I have a leaf here. I have to get my line drawing out so I can see where all my lines are. I'm not really sure where I put it, but it's not in front of me. Determine all of my. I feel like there should be a, a petal in there, so I'm gonna put a petal in there. I don't see a line for one, but I'm gonna make it a petal. You see some place on yours you need to add a petal, or maybe it's got too many and you want to take one away, you just go right ahead. I'm just using a 3 8 inch angle brush. It's the same brush I used to put in my fabric medium. Going around all 
all my petals, taking my time, no need to rush, no need to rush. such a pretty color. Really liking this color. So pretty. Now, the more paint you have loaded on your brush, um, the easier it's going to be to spread. I would make sure you've got everything outlined the way that you want and then load a little bit more paint on your brush and, and fill in. Um, we'll definitely have to come back and probably do a second coat on here to make sure we have all of our fabric filled in that we don't see any um, colors in there, any fabric color that we don't want to see. Okay, let's see what color we're going to paint our flowers in. Okay, so I've put on my coat of green and um, came back and did a quick second coat filling in where I could still see the fabric. You do not need to wait for your paint to dry in order to apply a second layer on here. Um, I just went in and applied it mostly where I could still see a lot of white because we're going to be adding other layers on here. Now we're going to be doing a wet on wet technique here. So my green paint is still wet and I'm going to go ahead and start shading my leaves with this teal color. This is Mystic Teal. And I'm going to shade around those flowers. I'm just going to start there and, and gently blend it a little bit on this one. This one's pretty wet, so it'll take a couple layers on that one. Make sure my hands do not have paint on it before I touch it to move it. And then I'm going to apply this teal color at the base of all my leaves or around the um, petals. Start adding some shading color on here. And I'll probably have the highlight coming down like this, so I will shade on this edge or the bottom edge of my leaves. So this is just a very light, subtle thing. You can't see a whole lot of it yet uh, because we're doing wet on wet. Um, but as we build our layers, um, it will start showing up. So we'll get this layer on our leaves and then we're going to move on to our flowers and start getting our first layers on our flowers. While our leaves get a little bit dry, we do want to do wet on wet technique with our um, painting here, but if we do not allow a little bit of drying, it'll just become a muddy mess. So uh, we don't want a muddy mess. but our first layer can be right into that wet paint because um, it's going to blend it a little bit and give us a our first like shading mix so we don't actually have to mix on our brush it's mixing right here on the fabric for us and then my lower edge is going to be my shaded edge so I'm going to put some of that teal color okay. <laughs> had to stop and take care of my handle. So I taped it to the back. I did a boo-boo because I always tape my handles either if I'm doing a bag inside or to the back of my 
um, cardboard and I didn't do that so it dropped down into my paint so now I'm gonna have to paint the handle white in that spot where it got paint on it <laughs> or paint the whole handle a color so um, make sure that you know where your handle is so back to this Get a little shading on this edge And then on this one, I think I'll just go on the side. You know, it can be on either side or both sides on, on this one, but straight down here. I'm just picking up paint. I'm not blending it into my brush. There's no need to do that since I'm doing wet into wet paint here. I'm going to try and paint this whole thing with just this one brush or not. I haven't decided yet. I mean, it's a good brush for, you know, doing all the areas that I need to do. All right, so uh, my flowers. I'm going to go ahead and get a coat on my flowers. I'm going to make this one here a pink color. So I'm going to take my uh, pink that I've got picked out here and mix some white in with it. Maybe two whites to one pink, and we'll start with this on our petals on this one that's front and center. I want these to be bright, springy colors, so um, one petal at a time here. And it's okay if they vary in color. If you go and pick up a little bit more white or a little bit more of the pink, um, I would highly recommend keeping them more on the lighter side, though, so that we can do some pretty shading on them. Right now they're pretty light, but we'll, we'll brighten them up. Just mixing the pink and the white. And getting this light color. Okay, I'm going to put it all back here, I think, goes to this one. <laughs> Not 100% sure, but we're making it. Nice springy bouquet of flowers here. I don't know if that's a leaf or not. Put my line drawing at. So, this is actually one that comes a little bit farther out this way. Connects. That one just needed to be a little bit bigger there. Okay, I've got two here that are kind of together that may end up being one <laughs> big petal by the time I'm done. I'll just make one a little bit bigger. Help me a little bit. Just mixing my colors here. Got 
This one is behind, and then I've got one that's kind of flipped over on top of it. Cross it like this. I'm not 100% sure I can make that work out. Okay, that is a very pretty color to start that flower with. Um, I think I'm going to start this other uh, flower with a blue. Um, I think a light blue. So we're going to do blue and white, a mix of blue and white, you know, your flowers can be whatever colors you want them to be, so. That one's still a pink petal right there, so I'm going to have to come back and paint that one with pink. Mix some blue and white, whatever ratio you want to do. Or pick a completely different color. These petals are going to go off the edge here. There's two of them there, so I hope I can uh, establish those when I get ready to do my shading. So that is establishing our blue one here. Okay, I think I want this one to be yellow. So we're gonna start out with this light yellow here. I'm not mixing any white with it, but you know, if it's too, too dark of a yellow for you, you certainly can do that. trying to decide the one up above what color I want to make it because I don't know what color I'm going to make my letters yet. petals here and then I'll figure out what color I'm going to paint the one up above.
I'm going to start with a little bit of that. It's okay if a little bit's on it. Okay, there we have our beginnings of our spring bouquet here. And so my decision is to figure out what color I want that one and what color I want my letters to be. Because right now I'm a little undecided. Okay, I'm going to do something fun with the lettering. But I think I'm going to base it in with black. So just take your time and put a coat of uh, lamp black on your letters. And then uh, once you're done, go back and any areas where you can still see the canvas, just go ahead and uh, add another layer on there. You can do it while it's wet because, you know, as you paint, you can see where the um, paint has not uh, gotten as much on the canvas. So you'll be able to see those areas quite easily. So I'm just using a round brush, kind of outlining the letters and then filling in. These are uh, bigger letters so you know we can just do an outline and fill in. And we'll do all the letters the same. You'll apply two coats or, you know, as I said, your second coat is just kind of a making sure that everything is as it should be with no extra white showing through. And please don't forget to look at your hands before you touch your fabric. Make sure there is nothing on your hands that you haven't accidentally laid your hand somewhere else and now you're laying it on your project. I'm just going to show this S painting it in. I will go paint all the rest of the letters in. You see I'm just outlining and filling in. Okay, it's going to be a pretty easy process for that. I still have not decided what color I want to paint that flower up there. I was thinking I would do it pink since pink is down here or yellow. Those are the two colors I'm kind of leaning towards. Um, but, right, oh, I missed some, missed a petal. I've got to paint that petal there. That's the center of the flower there, but I missed that blue, uh, pink petal right there, so I have to fill that in. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get the rest of my lettering done. Okay, I think I want to start on the pink ones with some strawberry. I really want to brighten these up, make them super springy. So I'm just doing a side load of strawberry and keeping it mostly at the base and kind of bringing it up into the petal a little bit. So we're going to make these a very bright. This is where you're going to determine which petal kind of is under another one. Got a little wet paint on that one where I touched up the yellow, so I'm going to let that one dry a little bit. Now you could just leave all your flowers white and come in with a bright color like this. I like having those kind of different values in there. And the easiest way to get that is to paint your mid-tone in there first. And this is our darker color. It's a little bit wet, but I may be able to... Nope. It's going to blend that out too much, so I'll have to let that one dry. I've got this one back here. It was a little bit wet too, because I forgot I hadn't painted it in. Okay, so this one, oops, move that right there. This is the one that is the um, folded over kind of petal here. So I'm going to see if I can kind of keep that 
petal showing up. Okay, that was a lot of paint. I just kind of went around it there. It's over two other petals, but it does need to be a little bit darker down through there. So pretty. We don't even have all the details on it yet. That one's pretty dark back in there because it's behind those other two. Behind that, that one's kind of hard to distinguish a little bit. I've got a piece of one here. I'm going to make that dark all the way over. go back and do it again, especially on those ones that are kind of wet. That's looking very pretty. I like that. So that was strawberry. Um, I'm trying to decide what color I want to use on the yellow one. I'm thinking gold color here. Let me see how it's going to look. I kind of wanted it to be bright yellow. Brighter. Uh, I can make the tips of it more bright, I guess. I think I might stick with this golden color here. Um, salted caramel. And do all my yellow. here. This is a very pretty color. I really like it. Okay, so here I've got a couple of petals. That one there. And I've got this one here. I'll try and separate them just a little bit. That's got some brightness on the yellow one, or some darker value, I guess I should say. Okay, so, and then for this one here, hmm, I really kind of want a bright blue on here. Okay, I decided to go with this kind of bright blue here, we'll see.
still haven't decided what color I'm painting that one up there. <laughs> so I, I, I'm just going to wait till I get these all done and see which one I like the best and maybe do uh, a duplicate up there. Okay, so that one, that color isn't showing up as well on camera, but that's pretty bright in front of me. Um, we're, I think we're going to do all these colors a second time to really make them pop. That one right there might be dry enough for me to get a good first coat on it. It kind of blended with that other color before. Because when we add our highlights in here, that's really going to make a huge difference uh, in how these look. So um, I may go back to my leaves and finish up my leaves and have those done uh, before we finish up our flowers. Okay, this is looking gorgeous. We don't even have all the details on it yet. All right, I want to finish out my leaves, so I'm going to shade them. I'm going to take my... Um, shading color and mix just a little bit of black in with it and that's going to get us a little bit deeper color here that will stand a little bit more out I mean it is just a tiny touch of black here don't don't get carried away that right there was just a touch too much. I'll grab a little bit more of that teal color and bring it into the leaf a little bit more. shading right here and then I also want to take that dark color and create my center vein so look how gorgeous that is looking so our base color or our shading color with just a kiss of black and if needed uh, pick up that first shading color and put it in a little bit more into the leaf. We don't want to be covering that color up completely, but if it looks like that's happening with your shading here, you want to be sure and oh, gotta make sure I'm, my black on my lettering is still wet. So I just got it on my hand, and I don't want to lay my hand somewhere and get that on my painting. I'm going to dry that off real quick and try to keep my hand up off of the canvas. Okay, I'm going to wipe that color out and just go into my um, color that I initially shaded in and put a little bit more into the leaf and then come in with my center vein. Okay, we're going to do that to all the leaves. We're going to take our base color. Ta tiny little bit of black. Blend that together and get our darkest shading color. And then we're going to wipe that paint out of our brush and pick up just our initial shading color and pull some of that into the leaf a little bit more and then put our center vein on with that darker mix. Okay, make sense? be just a touch darker down here in this area these little V's and triangle areas you know those are our darkest places so we want to make sure that we keep that going wipe out kind of the black that's mostly in our brush and then pick up that first shading color and bring it into the leaf a little bit more so we can have like three values going on in our leaf and then we'll grab our 
mix. I've got way too much black on my brush here. And come in here and create our center vein. That's pretty bold center vein there, but uh, it's okay. I might actually darken this one up a little bit. It could be a little bit darker. Oh, that's looking so good. All right. Oh, didn't want black. Uh, go into our base shading color and a little bit of black. Better to start out a little light here. We can come back and add more black as we need it. We don't want it to be extraordinarily dark to start out with. We're just getting our shadowy areas here. Into our darkest areas. That's the only place I want you to add a little bit more black is in those darkest. If you have to grab more black on your brush, just put them in those darkest areas. A little bit more of that first shading color and then we're going to get our mix and see if we can create a vein coming off of this one. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and finish this one on camera, but I'll just go off camera and do those. They'll be done the same way. So our first shading color with some black mixed in it. Just a touch. dark and a little bit more shading around our petals side a little darker, wipe the black off, get a little bit of our first shading color and just kind of gently work that into our leaf. We want to see three values here. And then we'll do our center vein. I'm going to go off camera and do those two so we can be caught up. We're going to come back and do a second shading on our flowers with the same color that we just did the first one so that we can deepen it and really make it bold. I'm going to give my leaves a little chance to dry before I highlight them because I don't want my highlight color to blend in um, with any of my shading color. So I'm going to come back to my flowers and put a second layer of this bright pink on here. This is just our shading color. This one that's folded over. I'm 
He's doing it a second time. there. Okay, so the blue and the yellow are going to be done the exact same way, just a second layer added on there. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. On my, my um, flowers now. Um, if your uh, petals are completely dark, uh, you may want to add a little bit of blue into your um, pink. Get a little bit of a purple color. That's too purple. Just a tiny bit of purple, not a lot. And we want to create some veins. Just, just a little bit. It's not massive. Okay. Uh, on the blue one, we can add a touch of um, maybe just a tiny touch of black just to darken that. Make it a more mid value blue. And then thin it with some water so it will flow off of your brush touch more water. We want an inky consistency so we can see these. Maybe just a little bit more black. I'm having a hard time separating those in my, you know, as I'm looking at it. It's not to uh, Not too many blue ones there, so you don't have to, you know, get too carried away with that. And the yellow ones, uh, we're going to use the lighter yellow that we based it in with. And a little bit of our shading color. Let's see if these will stand out. No, nope, they won't. I guess we're going to have to go straight with our shading color. Yep, that works best. Shading color only. A little bit of water. I have my palette over being used for something else. It's not like I don't have a million other palettes in my cabinet behind me, but. Alright, a little bit of that shading color. Oh, I can't really see those. We got some highlights we got to do on here so we don't we don't want to get carried away with too many details here. Okay, I think our flowers are ready for some highlighting. Um, uh, once we do our centers, it's really going to bring the flower together. Uh, let's see if our leaves are our leaves are dry enough. We can start highlighting on our leaves. I think okay, we're going to highlight on the leaves with some. Citron green, I think. I'll give it a try anyway. Now you can do as much detail on these leaves as you want. If you want lots of veining on them, then you can certainly do that. Just find the areas where you want to highlight. Usually I do up to the tip on one side and then just a little bit maybe down in the center on the other side because that's more the shaded side there. And I'm just picking up paint. I'm not working it into my brush. I'm just picking it up on the corner. Full paint there. Since I'm working on fabric, 
I can take that down and kind of blend it with my brush. I don't have to um, work it into my brush for a float here. Okay, we're also going to highlight. Now you want to, you might want to do this with a um, uh, a detail brush if you want to. I'm just going to use this brush and do the very tip of it, and we'll highlight next to the center vein as well. these two. Oh, this is the first highlight. We will do another one. So it's on one, one side, the side that doesn't have the shading. And then a little bit in the center on the side that does. And then a little work next to the vein. It's easy blending on fabric. I really like that because, you know, it just takes a little bit of, you know, using the edge that doesn't have the paint and kind of blending it out so that you get a beautiful um, blend there. Okay, so that was our first shading. I'm going to let that, or highlight, I'm going to let that dry because I do want to do a second one, but I don't want it to soak down into our painting here. So I'm going to start highlighting on our flower petals and I'm going to highlight on all of them with just white. I might mix hmm, I might mix the base colors. Well that was a mix so yeah all of these were mixed with white for their base colors so I'm just going to highlight with white. So again we're just going to add a We'll highlight edge on here. Or a big highlight edge. Whew. Of course, this will fade down in there, so don't, uh, don't worry too much about it. You do want to create an edge on whichever one is on top. I don't know, you know, that that might have been wrong there, but it's a it's a it's a highlight edge now because I just made it one. ones on top here. This is just white. I might come back on my yellow one though and um, okay that's a lot of white. Okay now I got green. I think I picked that up off of my um, paper towel. Take that green off of there. Try the white again. What was I saying? Oh, I might come back and wash over my yellow one with a much brighter yellow. Like a bright yellow. Or cad yellow or something. Okay, we'll move on to our... that one. We'll move on to our uh, pink ones here. Uh, white you might want you might want to work it into your brush a little bit because it's powerful. 
powerful when you first put it on, but it will fade in there, so. Maybe keep a damp brush. Because I've got paint really far over onto my brush. We just want to see which side is the side on top. I have to come back and touch up some of these highlights after we get our center into our flowers. Still haven't decided what color I want the centers to be. Kind of establishing which flower is on top, or which petal, I guess I should say, not flower. Just with a little bit of white, or a lot of white. That was an enormous amount of white right there. After we get our centers done, we may have to do one more shading inside on our um, flowers. Kind of set everything. Sure, I'm just making it that way. Okay, this is where I have a couple of flowers that are petals that are really close together. establishing our petals nicely. I think before I move on, I probably need to determine what the centers are going to be so we can get a base coat in our centers so that our final highlight and stuff on our flowers will not, uh, you know, disappear. Uh, let's go ahead and do a second highlight on our um, leaves. And we're going to do an equal mix of citron green and our white. And here we'll just a little bit more white. I think it got thinned down. We're not going to do as much on here as we did with uh, our first highlight. So you're just kind of dabbing a little bit of this. lighter color in here. This should take you no time at all because it's just a, a brightening of some highlight here. see if it looks bright enough. A little bit 
more white in a couple of these because it's not popping. I should finish them up. We're going to call our leaves done. That was a mix of citron and white. Um, I started out with a one-to-one -one mix and then I went and added a little bit more of the white in there. So depending on uh, how bright or dark your leaves are will depend on how much more white you need to add to that citron. But I think they look pretty good. Okay, let's figure out the centers now. Okay, so daisy centers are kind of a bright yellow, orangish yellow, depending on you know what daisy you're looking at. But I'm going to start out with a bright yellow in the center, and we will work from this color and create some darker values. I'm just painting this in bright yellow. I think I might want some of this bright yellow on my yellow flower. So I probably will make a wash of it and put some on there. I'm just going to go ahead and paint a coat of yellow up here on this one because I don't really know what color this flower is going to be yet. It's an undecided flower. <laughs> I mean, I could keep it white and then just do some shading on it. I haven't decided yet. Uh, so I want to create a little bit of wash with this color. I think I want to put some of this brighter yellow on my yellow flower itself. Just mixing some water with this, making a thin layer of paint. Just brightening up. Definitely looks a little bit better on that yellow one. So I may repeat that once it gets dry. Okay, our leaves are done. Our flowers are drying so that we can finish them. So I'm going to go up here to my uh, word, spring. I'm going to put some fresh white paint out. And we're going to dot. I'm just going to use the back of my paintbrush. I'm going to get one that has a flatter bottom. Uh, we'll see which one. Fresh paint. You want to use fresh paint here. And then we're just going to put some dots. We don't want them to be all the same size. Make that one a little bit bigger. Depends on how much pressure you put on here. Depends on how big your your dots will be. Your dots can be any color that you want them to be. And you can put as many or as little on here as you want to.
get your lettering, but we're going to do all of the letters with dots. It's, Im it's important, I think, to have fresh paint here because um, otherwise uh, y your paint will be too thick and it won't leave as pretty of dots. You can dot about three or four times before uh, you kind of run out of paint. These will be pretty wet, so don't accidentally get your hand in them. Super cute! Oh my gosh, super, super, super cute! Love it, love it. This is how you can move around your project while everything is painting. Let me wide or drying wide angle out so you can see it. Oh my gosh, that is so stinking cute! I love it. Alrighty, so my I've got my center's base coated in with that bright yellow. I put two coats on here. They're dry now. I went ahead and got this flower caught up. I decided to do a pink one up there. You can do whatever color you want or don't do any at all. Up to you. Totally up to you. Okay, so let's finish our centers here. Um, I think I want to shade them with burnt umber. They're mostly a bright yellow center so I don't I don't want to get them too incredibly dark but and burnt umber is kind of a transparent color so we can kind of work with it and um, keep it light go around these petals here a little bit of shading If your um, brush is not moving the paint well, you can put a little bit of water in it. At this point, we've got enough layers on here. We don't have to worry too much about uh, putting water in our brush. But uh, when you're first starting out on this project, if you need moisture, um, get some of your um, um, medium and use that as moisture. Um, you know, I was thinking about shading on the petals themselves, but I'm not going to do that because I want to put all these little white dots, um, maybe some white and yellow dots on here. Let me go do this center. Just a little layer of burnt umber. 
kind of working it in so that it's not um, big and bold. Just It's just starting, you know, to get some color in there. We're going to do the other side with a little bit of white. I'm just going to kind of tap it on. We're, we're going to add a bunch of dots on here, so... We don't have to get too involved with um, shading and highlighting here. So, just kind of give it a little, a little kiss a kiss of white. If it fades down in there, then you can do it again. All right, let's put some fresh white out for dotting. And some fresh bright yellow out. And this is where you can use the end of your paintbrush or you can use a, a small round. And we're going to add dots. up onto your petals but try not to make like a uh, you know a, a line you know move your brush around so that things aren't I'm going to have them a little bit more concentrated where the highlight area is little dots more concentrated right here where the highlight kind of is on the centers. Now I planned on using some of the bright yellow as well, but I'm not sure now if I want to do that. Okay, let me do this one up here. So pretty. I'm concentrate a little bit more right here in this area where I put the highlight. Love it. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use the yellow ones on there. I really like just the white ones on there. So, um, now at this point, you can be completely done with it. I think I am going to be done with it because I really like it. But, um, let your dots dry. You can go in here and add some little filler flowers. You can outline it with a black pen, which I initially was going to do, but I kind of like it the way it is. Um, you can add some swirls and things coming out of it, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. 